Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, The Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, five-time author and fiduciary, the money missionary himself, Tony Walker. Hello and welcome to The Worry-Free Retirement. I am Tony Walker. Glad you're along with us this uh, beautiful October 9th, 2017 out of our Louisville, Kentucky studios. Uh, Aaron Orr, Andrew at the helm, of course, producing the show. Glad to have you with us. You know, a lot of times, I, I first of all, I appreciate your comments about the show. We have a lot of people talk about the show. I really do uh, welcome any feedback. And occasionally people will say, Tony, I really like when you go to that whiteboard. Uh, I like you to explain things and get in kind of a teaching mode. And today's program is really going to be about teaching. And it's going to be about a very, very important concept called cash flow. You know, sometimes I've been doing this now uh, nearly 34 years now. And what I realize sometimes is, you know, we get, it's any professions like this, I'm sure. You do something so long and you learn a lot about your profession. You learn a lot about people. But before you know it, if you're not careful, you kind of get into the weeds because you start talking about more and more technical things. And this being the only show in the country that's dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, what I never want to do is get too technical. Because I think that's the problem when you're trying to learn new information or understand information. If you start out technical, uh, you're going to lose a lot of people. I tend to be a visual learner. I like to see things. And then once I understand the concept, then I can go into the technical. Incidentally, uh, if you ever want to sit down and go over your situation in person, no cost or obligation to do that. And you'll see that we've got a great binder that we'll show you. And a lot of times people say, man, this is the first time, Tony, I've truly understood what I've got and how I'm going to use it. And that's because we start off with what we call visual illustrations and then we provide the technical. Okay, enough of that. So what are, why, are, why do I want to focus today's program on strictly cash flow? Why is cash flow so important in the understanding of retirement planning? Well, let's think about money in general, okay? And we're going to talk about the three halves of life a lot today. So I'm going to go back and forth to that concept. In fact, Aaron, let's put up our famous graphic. We call this the three halves of life. And as you can see in this graphic, we're talking about the young couples out there that are trying to make their way. They're trying to earn good money. It's still cash flow. We'll talk about that in a minute. They're trying to pay off debts. They're trying to raise their kids. A very, very expensive time in life, but nevertheless, a time where you should try to save money. We do offer services for this first half. A lot of people avoid the first halfers and people say, well, why is that? Well, the reason is quite frankly, folks, they don't have any money. And what we would rather do is try to help those people. So in fact, I've hired my son-in-law, Trey, now. One of Trey's goals is to focus on what we call the first halfers. And how can we do this? Well, first of all, we don't have minimum account sizes. So let's say you're a first halfer out there and you got 300 bucks so you can invest a month and you want to put it in something for either protection or for growth, the average person, the average advisor is not even going to talk to you. We will. Uh, So again, if you're a first halfer, you're trying to just build a nest egg, you're trying to develop a relationship with an advisor in whom you can trust, let me invite you to go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com right now. Click on the Let's Get Started button. And if you're in that first half, uh, Trey will be happy to follow up with you. Obviously, I'm a fiduciary, so I oversee everything that goes on in our offices and we'll make sure that we take care of your needs. But basically, when we're talking about cash flow, we have to talk about the types of work. It's going to kind of sound strange at first, but there really is two forms of work. There is people at work, and then there's capital at work. Capital is defined as your money. So in other words, capital could be your 401k, your IRA, cash value of life insurance, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate. It doesn't matter, but the capital is what you're trying to create along the way, usually in the first half or half time, to to create this income for your life, for the second half. So again, let's go back to that graphic. The first half is when you're trying to grow money, you're trying to accumulate money, you're trying to pay off debts. Half time is that period of time. Generally, I like to say around 59 and a half. 
remind me in the second segment, Aaron, to go over something at 59 and a half that's very important. Generally, it could be younger, could be a little older, but generally halftime is that point in life where you're saying, you know what, retirement's right down the road here. We have to get a game plan that sets up for what's called the second half, which is where we have the capital at work. In other words, the money you have accumulated over all these years, producing enough income to live on. Speaking of income to live on, I know we promote this book a lot. We're promoting it hot and heavy because it's brand new. Let me encourage you, as you watch this show, especially by the end of this show, you're going to want to get a copy of my latest book, Mailbox Money for Life. Talking about planning for cash flow and for capital at work, it's a good one. Again, you can order that at TonyWalkerFinancial.com, absolutely free. We'll get that out to you right away. Okay, so as we're talking about these types of work, let's just imagine, first of all, we're going to put a first half First halfer, okay? So this is really a good example of people at work. Basically, you go work somewhere and you're going to earn wages, all right? This is cash flow, okay? You're working in exchange for somebody giving you the cash flow. We could say it's gonna go in your household funnel, if you will, all right? So this cash flow, let's imagine you make between you and your spouse $100,000 a year, all right? You're working, you're working hard. You've got a funnel, all right? And this money is gonna go into this funnel. And I'm gonna not finish the funnel yet because you're gonna see this in a minute. And wouldn't it be nice if this cash flow of $100,000 went into this funnel, Aaron, you'll love this. Aaron's got small children at home and a, and a stay at home. Uh, your wife stays home full time, right, Aaron? So it would be nice, wouldn't it, Aaron, if the money you made that Tony Walker Financial paid you had no deductions coming out. Wouldn't that be cool? You just got to use all that money. Incidentally, quite frankly, sometimes uh, pastors have what's called a housing allowance, which is a great tax break. Whatever they uh, account for their housing allowance doesn't have any deductions. That's why uh, having that housing allowance would be a great thing if all of us had that as an example. But that's not the real world. What happens is the cash flow goes into this funnel, and unfortunately, you can call these spigots or whatever you want to call them. You know, down here at the end is supposed to be your ultimate cash flow to live on. Because when you think about it, that's all that matters, right, Aaron? I mean, how much money? Jessica's probably saying, Aaron, I don't care what, quote, Tony pays you. That's called your gross pay. How much are you bringing home? That's your take-home pay, or how much do we have to live on? So let's think about the cash flow going on for a first halfer. And this could even be all of us, but let's just take the main things. The first thing that takes a huge bite out of this 100,000 is what's called FICA taxes. Those are around 7.5%. So you make 100,000, 7.5% is gone. Another biggie is federal taxes and uh, you know, we, we won't get into tax brackets today, but obviously you could be anywhere from zero to 39.6. The more you make, the more they take. Oh, that was a funny comment I saw the other day. It said, the new tax law they're thinking about changing, it's not gonna help the poor. And I said, well, of course it's not gonna help the poor. The poor don't pay any taxes. I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. Tax cuts are there for people who are paying taxes. And this is what they're talking about in Congress right now is lowering or flattening. No, they're not gonna flatten it. I wish they would, they're talking about it, but trying to minimize the number of different tax brackets. So that's your federal taxes. So they're gone. You with me here? So money goes in the funnel. That, that's what you think your cash flow is, and it isn't because you've got deductions, federal taxes, FICA. Here's another one that gets siphoned off. You have state taxes, and in Kentucky it's five, I think in Indiana six, so that's gone immediately. We have another siphon here. You have local taxes, all right? Local taxes. Let's see, there's another one here. You have property taxes. Okay, property taxes. Uh, the building I own in Bowling Green, I just noticed the property taxes came in on that thing. It was almost $4,000. And uh, that's not even counting my home. So these are just extra taxes. You say, well, Tony, that didn't come out of my paycheck, does it? No, that you're missing the point. The gross income, we're trying to get down to net cash flow you have all of these deductions coming out. So you have property taxes that come out. You may have a 401k deduction, okay? 
So that is a savings tool, granted, but you've got to remember this is money that you cannot use right now if you're doing a 401k. We call that a postponement of taxes. So the money is going over to the financial institution. Granted, that's going to be capital at work one day, but right now that's not money you have. We're running out of room here, Aaron. I'm going to have to, <laughs> you could have debt. And then finally, you could have just basic deductions that are coming out for your health insurance, et cetera. So let's just kind of look at this. You're probably sitting there going saying, Tony, no wonder I don't have any, quote, cash flow. Where's all that money going? So out of the gross income of 100000 in this example, you have FICA of about 7.5%. You have state anywhere from 5 to 6%. You have property taxes, probably average 1.5% to 2%. Debt service. This is another thing, folks. Some of you are out there with these higher credit card interest. Do you understand how much debt is being taken off of your cash flow? and how much of your future that's going to affect because you're paying all this interest. I met someone the other day that came in and they had almost $30,000 in credit card debt, all right, and they had 8% interest on it. And I realized that they had about $15,000 in the bank and we could borrow against their home and the extra $15,000 to get that knocked out. So all of that interest, granted we'll still have some interest, but all that interest is going to be savings. That goes to your net cash flow. And then we have health insurance, we have life insurance deducted, your 401k deduction could be 10%, local taxes could be anywhere to 2 to 2.5%, two federal, you know, could be as high as 39.6, probably not for most people, not on 100,000, but nevertheless, by the time you get down here, in general, the net net, we'll call it the net net, you may only have $40,000 to live on. So this is why so many of you are saying, how come I don't have any money? Where is the darn money going? Because you have all of these things that are siphoning off money before you get to it. So one of the things we try to do, we try to focus on these costs. What I've figured out, if you can attack costs, all right, this is what the worry-free retirement, why the worry-free retirement is so different. If you can attack costs, that's less that you have to chase returns, okay? So what happens is over the, over the course of time, the financial world, they know all this exists. Most of them don't have any training to try to help you minimize costs. So what do they always say? Well, Aaron, since you only have 40,000 left over, you're going to have to take risk. We're going to have to chase returns to try to make up all these costs. And if you're a saver, that's the worst advice you could get because now not only have you not dealt with the cost, but now you're exposing an unnecessary amount of money to risk. All right. So when we're working with somebody, when you come in to meet with us, one of the things I'm going to do, and a lot of times we can't do anything about it, but one of the things I'm going to do is look at cost. Now, for instance, we haven't even talked about fees here. One of the services we have, let's put this up, Aaron. It's called the free fee analysis. Uh, there's some B-roll there of Heather in our Bowling Green office. We can look, this is an absolutely free service. We will look at your current brokerage statements, your variable annuities, any of your assets that you've got, to determine what the actual fees are. And in some cases, we've been able to save people thousands of dollars a year in unnecessary fees. So let's think about this. If we saved you money in fees of $3,000, obviously you could add the $3,000 back to the $40,000. So now our cash flow just went up. Uh, in some cases, we can, we can save you money on term life insurance premiums. That's called recapturing a cost. That means our cash flow goes up. In some cases, we can reduce interest on your debt. Cash flow goes up. And in some cases, we can look at these 401ks and determine that, you know what? Maybe it's not best to max out your 401k. Maybe we only need to go up to the match. That would be determined after we meet. So there are things we can do from a cash flow standpoint to try to increase that cash flow so that we can build a worry-free retirement towards what we call the second half of life. So this is a first halfer. And when we come back, we're going to talk about halftime and then going into what we call the second half of life and why mailbox money, to have that set up ready to go at the second half, is so crucial for savers and particularly for savers who want a worry for retirement. You're watching the worry for retirement. I'm going to stay on the whiteboard. I'm going to take a quick break, get some things reorganized here. I'll be right back. You stay tuned.
Did you realize that Wall Street and your advisor could be making hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a year to manage your money? There's no reason to remain in the dark about fees. Take advantage of our free fee analysis today and learn more about our new investment management platform using Charles Schwab as our custodian. To learn more or to find out what the fees are on your investments, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Worried about running out of money in retirement? For a limited time, five-time author and retirement specialist Tony Walker is making available his latest book, Mailbox Money for Life. For your free copy, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Welcome back to the Worry Free Retirement. I was just checking real quick. Great new website. Please check it out at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Incidentally, our last two workshops of the year, November 13th in Louisville, Mailbox Money for Life, brand new workshop. And then November 14th, Mailbox Money for Life in Bowling Green. Incidentally, if you attend either of those workshops, we don't provide steak dinners at our workshops, but each attendee will get all five of my books absolutely free. All five of them. Make sure we put them up on the screen there, Aaron. You got the Worry for Your Retirement, the Three Personalities of Money, Don't Follow the Herd, Mailbox Money for Life, and the Annuity Decision Guide for Savers. Again, attend either one of those workshops and you get all five of those books absolutely free. We like to say we don't feed you free food, which only lasts about eight hours, eight hours and then you're hungry again. We're trying to feed you for life, folks, information that can help you be worry-free. Take advantage of that. All right, so here we go. We're talking about people at work, and now we're kind of fast-forwarding. You're imagining that you've worked hard and you're at what we call halftime, okay? Halftime. Halftime is when you have to get your game plan in order. And I like to say it's not all the time. It could be earlier or later. So don't get me, don't get hung up on ages here. The reason I like to pick 59 and a half as a good time to look at halftime is because by law, assuming most of you have IRAs and 401ks or 403bs, it's the first time you've actually got access to plan with those monies. Because in most cases, if you're 59 and a half or older, the federal government allows you to roll those monies out of your employer's 401k or your IRA can be taken with what's called without uh, excise taxes. So we like to just say in general, could be younger, could be older, but when you get into the age range of 59 and a half, you are now at halftime because we as a fiduciary can start setting up a game plan for you. So right now you might be sitting there saying, well, Tony, all my money is in the 401k. I don't know what to do with it. And I'd say if you're approaching 59 and a half, or you've turned 59 and a half or older, let's talk because there might be an opportunity to roll that out of the 401k now. You can still contribute. We'll show you how to do this. We do hundreds of these a year, but we can start putting that 401k over into our proprietary software and show you how we can lay that out in a worry for retirement. And we can discuss other products. In many cases, we can set up a game plan that includes what I like to call Mailbox Money for Life, okay? So if you're 59 and a half, I would encourage you to contact us immediately. So as we arrange the game plan, all we're trying to do, think about this folks, we're trying to take the cash flow you were living on. We don't care about all these taxes yet, right? Because that's going to other people. We want to know what are you used to living on? And we're coming over to the second half, all right? And we're still talking about what do I have to live on? because you're still gonna to have to deal with taxes. You're still gonna to have to deal with fees. You're still gonna to have to deal with insurance premiums, sometimes even interest, okay? So we're still going through the same analysis when we're looking at people's picture. It's just different because all of a sudden, people at work stops. We're assuming in this example, now we have people working part-time, but once you get into what I call the second half, the game plan kicks in. You have stopped working personally. The people at work has stopped and you've got to rely on your capital. So what are those various categories that you would rely on? Well, we have Social Security, right? That was the FICA taxes you've been paying in all these years, all right? That's your Social Security. Now, I, would, I could put two boxes because we could have a husband and a wife, and those boxes affect each other differently depending on how long the spouse lives, when they die, when you elect it. We can help you with all those decisions. But one of those boxes, one of those pieces of capital is Social Security. If you're lucky enough, I gotta watch my room here, Aaron, you could have a pension. And yes, we can help you determine should I take a lump sum pension or should I take a monthly installment? And again, I think we showed this to you last week, put this up here again, Aaron. 
This is what somebody was going over the other day with me, Tony. They didn't say it was a cash flow decision, but this is really what they were saying. In this example, they had an offer to take $128,000 of a lump sum pension. And if we took that, we'd have to invest it for what? Cash flow. Or if they wanted to just keep it really simple in this example, they could choose an annuity from the pension. You can see this scale down here, single life annuity, 50% annuity. And you'll notice there's different amounts of money each month that would be paid to them for the rest of their life. And yep, that's the definition of mailbox money too. But the average person doesn't know how to make that decision. That's where we can help. But this is really, again, all about cash flow. Then you got the biggie. Again, most of you either have a 401k or IRA, something I've been working in and trained in for years and years. We understand the tax ramifications. And this is probably the biggest piece of the puzzle that we can help with. Most people that I meet are scared to death of this thing. They don't understand how much they can take out with it without additional taxes. They don't understand the minimum distribution rules when you turn 70 and a half. We understand all that perfectly. Another form of cash flow could be either money at the bank. It could be, I'll just sense in the essence of time here in room, annuities. You could have a brokerage account, by the way, uh, we have the, the new brokerage uh, platform that we have using Charles Schwab as our custodian. You know what I like about this platform? No minimum account sizes. Most people are requiring at least $50,000 minimum. We have no minimums. And this allows our game plan to be very, very flexible and one of the most inexpensive management platforms in the industry. And then finally, you may come out here and if you really understand how to do really good cash flow planning, you would have some sort of permanent life insurance. And you say, well, that's a permanent life insurance, Tony. Are you, you mean taking loans and income from it? No, we don't really recommend that. That's a very dangerous ploy that a lot of people are pushing is taking tax-free loans as income against life insurance. Again, very, very scary tactic. I've seen that implode many times. What we're saying is, if I have a large life insurance policy out there, it gives me permission to spend more of these assets, which gives me more cash flow. Uh, for instance, back to this pension, throw this back up there, Aaron, real quick. In this example, if this person, which this person does not, had plenty of life insurance, that would make this decision very easy because this is really a life insurance decision when you choose the annuitization uh, schedule of a pension plan. So folks, in kind of summary, what we're saying here is retirement planning is really about cash flow, money coming in, money going out. And my granddad knew this better than most people, and your grandparents probably did too. You don't spend money you don't have. The money coming in, what you have to do to manage money, truly manage money, is figuring out how to keep these costs down to improve this cash flow so that then you can invest those in different assets. So when you retire, second half, the capital, those assets that you've created, can kick off the cash flow so you can live happily ever after. Now, real quickly, let me make one more pitch for the mailbox money for life. So if you are at halftime or in the second half, why do we like fixed indexed annuities and fixed annuities so much? Because number one, they're the, one of the lowest cost investments you can have. There's absolutely no stock market risk with these products. And more importantly, they can provide mailbox money for life, a proprietary concept that we came up with and we can show you how to do that with our software. So let me invite you. If you're sitting there saying, well, Tony, I'd love to meet with you in person. There is no cost or obligation to do so. We can meet in either our Louisville, Kentucky office or Bowling Green, Kentucky office. Just log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on that Let's Get Started button, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. In the meantime, I'm going to get me a cup of coffee. I'm going to share a few words of what the Bible has to say, not about cash flow, but about the flow of life and God's spirit. I'll be right back. Worried about running out of money in retirement? For a limited time, five-time author and retirement specialist Tony Walker is making available his latest book, Mailbox Money for Life. For your free copy, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Feel like the financial world is making more money on your money than you are? 
Tired of working hard to save money only to get 1% in return? Well, I'm Tony Walker inviting you to meet with me in person to create a safe and simple game plan that includes Mailbox Money for Life. To schedule your no-obligation appointment with me, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. While there, just click on the Let's Get Started button and we'll make that happen at your convenience. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com and I look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, good cup of coffee. Hope you're enjoying the show. We've only got about two minutes here, but I wanted to save time for what the Bible has to say about people at work and capital at work. My daughter Lacey recently asked me, uh, she knows I like to study scripture and I have my own take on certain things obviously, but she asked me the difference between Christians who always seem to be talking about trying to get into heaven and she said, Dad, you seem like you're already confident you're there. And she's trying to, you know, understand her faith a little bit. And I said, well, you know, Lacey, I'm definitely, I'm 100% confident that Christ has done everything necessary for me. But I do have some concerns. Christians today seem to be constantly talking about how to work their way into heaven or how to earn their stead to get to heaven. And I'm not really sure I understand that. So I'm going to take a couple of verses, one of my favorite verses in Scripture. In fact, Aaron, let's put up Galatians 2, 20, where Paul simply says this, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. What we're saying here, folks, or what I believe is you are already a new creation in Christ. The people at work thing has stopped. Now, out of this, this concept of accepting Christ for what he's done will flow good works. They'll definitely come, but we're not trying to earn his favor anymore. In fact, I close with this one verse of scripture, and I would challenge you to think about this a minute as you struggle. Some of you are struggling with this concept of working your way into heaven. It simply says this. Let's go to this, Aaron. 1 Corinthians six nineteen simply says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. That's information and scripture you can take to the bank, folks. Well, how about yourself? You may be sitting there saying, Tony, I'm tired of, tired of working so hard to feel like nobody's working in my best interest. Give us an opportunity to do so. I would love to sit down with you in person. There's no cost or obligation. Lots of things you can do on our website. You can register for our next workshop, order the Mailbox Money for Life booklet, or of course, meet with me at no cost or obligation. Go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com or call the toll-free number on your screen. And until next week, you remember if all else fails, you be worry-free. Thank you for watching The Worry-Free Retirement with Tony Walker. If you need a safe and simple game plan for your retirement, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and schedule a free, no-obligation meeting with Tony.